Tuesday's NFL news cycle was buzzing after Oklahoma quarterback Kyler Murray hired the same agent as Arizona Cardinals head coach Cliff Kingsbury. Kingsbury was hired to be the Cardinals head coach earlier this offseason. In 2018, Kingsbury was coaching in the Big 12 against Murray and he now infamously was quoted saying he would use the no. One overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft on the Heisman Trophy winner. The Cardinals own the number one pick in the draft. Those who connected the dots believe Kingsbury will lean toward drafting Murray at no. One overall and trading 2018 first round draft pick and quarterback Josh Rosen. The Giants were immediately connected as a team who could be interested in trading for Rosen. Later on Tuesday, Kingsbury tried his best to quell the fire behind those rumors. Our feelings toward Josh haven't waned or changed, Kingsbury said on Tuesday. I get that we have the first pick and there are going to be a million scenarios, and over the next three months they are going to come up. But Josh is our guy, of course, what else would you expect him to say? If the Cardinals were planning to make the switch at quarterback and to draft Murray, they wouldn't admit it. As for the Giants, they are a logical fit for Rosen for a multitude of reasons, the Giants had an opportunity to select Rosen during the 2018 NFL Draft but they instead chose to select running back Saquon Barkley at no. 2 overall. However, Rosen wasn't the only quarterback prospect they passed on. The Giants passed on four of the five quarterbacks selected in the first round to draft Barkley. Baker Mayfield was the only quarterback they did not have an opportunity to draft. The Giants did not discuss Rosen much during the pre-draft process, but general manager Dave Gettleman made it clear he did not subscribe to the rumored theory suggesting Rosen did not love the game. Gettleman shut down that narrative when asked about it during his pre-draft presser. The Giants met with Rosen for a private pre-draft visit. During this private visit, the Giants are not allowed to put Rosen through another workout on the field. The Giants previously met with Rosen out in Los Angeles when they took him out to dinner and then put him through a private workout before his UCLA Pro Day. The Giants also met with Rosen at the NFL Combine when they used one of their 60 allotted Combine interviews on the quarterback Giants co-owner Steve Tisch confirmed he met with Rosen when the Giants were out in Los Angeles to watch his Pro Day. Although Tish wants to remain tight-lipped about the Giants' draft process and his thoughts on the prospects, he did offer a quick compliment about his interview with Rosen. His table manners, unbelievable. Tish said to reporters at the owners' meetings, via Newsday. He was brought up very well. He's a very charismatic young man, Rosen spoke glowingly of his first private meeting with the Giants on the Rich Eisen show and even discussed how hard he rooted for Eli Manning and the franchise to defeat Tom Brady and the New England Patriots during both of their Super Bowl matchups. Rosen also decided to give a shout-out to Shermer after his impressive pro day performance. For me, the coolest part of this meeting people from all around the country, Rosen told Mick via NFL.com. I remember sitting in a meeting with the Giants and I kinda double took it. Coach Shermer, I just saw your press conference like two weeks ago. This is kinda cool. The Giants, at least reportedly, met with Rosen more times than any other quarterback prospect in the 2018 class.